Salesforce security identity. Salesforce to Salesforce single sign-on. We're continuing our security and identity track and we're gonna demonstrate how to have Salesforce be both the identity provider and the service provider um, in a single sign-on environment. And this will let you have um, a user, have a user in both orgs and be able to traverse between them with only one set of credentials. So what we're gonna be going over is having one Salesforce org as the identity provider and one Salesforce org as the service provider. And we're gonna be running through that configuration. The end goal is that a human using the browser should be able to log in as the identity provider and then be able to go into a second service provider org without having to log in again, providing the seamless single sign-on. In this demo, we're gonna do all of this from scratch. So I'm gonna start creating the first developer org and it's, you're gonna see it's steve.idpadmin at stevetecharc.com and I'm gonna sign up. And now you see it's telling me to confirm my account. Now while we're waiting, we're gonna create a second one, which is gonna be steve.sp1 admin, service provider one admin. And now we're gonna start that processing, provisioning that developer org. Now I've received the email and you'll notice that it gave me a unique uh, URL for Salesforce with that username. Now I'm gonna verify this account. From here, I'm gonna be setting up a new password and security question for the user. And now I'm logged in and you can confirm I'm logged in right here with that user. Going to settings, and I can see my Steve IDP admin user here. Now I'm gonna to go to app manager. I'm gonna find the sales app. I'm gonna to go to the lightning config. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the logo. And I'm gonna set this up as an SP logo rectangle. And then I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna go back. And then now when I go to the sales app here, you'll notice that in the top left corner, it tells me, oops, well, we don't want service provider. Let's shift that. We're gonna to go to app manager, sales, And we're gonna change this image to be that of an IDP rectangle. And hit save, come back. And now when I'm back to sales, I'm gonna refresh. Now let's go into sales. And now you'll see under sales, it has the logo for the identity provider. Now to give clarity, we have a, a unique um, URL for Salesforce. We're gonna go to my domain and we're gonna change it and make it more easily identifiable. So we're gonna change this to Steve Tech Arc, and we're gonna go dash IDP Demo, dash demo and we're going to hit and we're going to check availability and then we're going to hit save so now what we're doing is we are changing the domain to be more easily identifiable and now you can see i have my domain settings now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my login Conf authentication configuration. I'm going to hit edit and I'm actually going to change the logo to be a uh, IDP. We're going to set this to IDP round and hit save. And now we have changed 
the domain to the IDTV demo. We have changed the login to have the login round logo. Now, while we're waiting for that to provision, we're gonna go into users and we're gonna create a new user that we can test the single sign-on with. So we're gonna go new user and we're gonna go Homer and the last name IDP. And I'm gonna send that to my, my email. I'm gonna give it a pattern, steve.homer.idp, or excuse, steve.idp.homer. We're gonna make this person, we'll make him a, a sysadmin. And so now we, and we're gonna go down, here's a key element. We're gonna give them a federation ID of Homer one. So this will be a way to uniquely identify Homer in the federation ID. So we have a brand new user, Steve IDP Homer, with the Homer ID, Homer one as the federated ID. We're gonna hit save and create the user. Now I'm resetting the password for Homer. And now I am logged into this org as Homer. And I can see that by going to settings. And now I have Homer IDP user. Now I'm gonna verify the account for the service provider user. And in is the service provider user. I am gonna to go to the sales, lightning sales. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna upload the image and I'm gonna give it an, a service provider um, rectangle. Hit save. And the next thing I'm gonna do is give it its own domain. So I'm gonna go here, go to the my domain. We're gonna edit and we're gonna go slash SP1 dash demo. Check availability. Wait for the checkbox and hit save. And what we're doing is we're giving each of these URLs. The URLs are very important when setting up single sign-on. So we're giving them clean URLs. We're gonna to go to the authentication information, drop down, we're gonna choose a file and we're gonna give this a service provider round logo here on the login screen and hit save. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a user, an equivalent user for Homer. So this will be a Homer service provider user. So we're gonna to go to new user Homer, and we're gonna go here. We're gonna have Homer SP, and we're gonna put Steve at Twin Shark at um, Steve Tech Arc, and then we're gonna give it a username: Steve dot SP one dot Homer. We'll also make this a Salesforce system administrator. And here is a key. We're going to give the same federated ID, Homer1, in the federated ID. Now, we're going to hit save. And we have the, um, the Homer with, with the appropriate user. And if we log out here, we can see that this has the login screen of the SP1. Now I've just switched back to the identity provider. And here at the identity provider, I am ready to activate the new domain. So now I am triggering the new domain. And now what's happening is this org has now had its URL changed. 
And you'll see that now what we have is we have the IDP. We have with the new log with the new login screen and its IDP demo URL. And now we are done with the initial setup. What we have is we have a Salesforce org that I have the logo SF identity provider. Its URL is IDP demo. And in that same org, we have Homer IDP, a user, sysadmin user, Homer. And Homer has a federated a federation ID of Homer one. So this is the IDP org that will be the center one performing the authentication. And it's clearly designated by the URLs and quick little logos. In this second tab over here, I have a second org and this one is the service provider and you'll see in the url we have well, let me close this old tab we have this one where it has sp demo dev the url plus it has the logo and it has a user homer sp and you can see it's sharing the same url so right now we have not set up single sign-on yet but we have two clean environments brand new each configured, clearly identified by the URL and having a respective Homer user in each org. Now we're gonna begin the process of setting up single sign-on. To set up single sign-on, there is a really nice help text. You can, we're gonna, you can follow along. And what, I, and what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be enabling and setting up the identity provider org, downloading the certificate, downloading the metadata. Then we're gonna to go to the SP org. We're gonna set up, we're gonna make sure that single sign-on is enabled, create a configuration, upload the certificate, set up the login page. We've already set up the user. And then we're gonna come back to the identity provider, set up a connected app, enable SAML, set up the profile and permission set, and then have the test user. So these are the clear steps that we're gonna be following. Now in this dev org, the identity provider is enabled by default and it has set up a self-signed cert and it's ready for us to download the metadata. So I press the download certificate and then I'm gonna pre press the download metadata. So now I have both the certificate and the metadata ready to go. In the service provider, I'm gonna to go to single sign-on settings and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit and I'm going to go sample enabled and hit save. So now what I've done is I have enabled the SAML. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do new from a metadata file and I'm going to choose the file. So now I'm pulling from that file. And now you'll notice it, ha it imported from the metadata the name the version and pulled in a lot of the information. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull in the digital certificate. So I've uploaded the digital certificate. Now the key is I'm gonna change assertion contains federated ID. Um, and then I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna hit save. So now I have the single sign on for the identity provider set up in the service provider. Now what we're going to do is we're going to stay in the service provider, go to my domain. We're going to go to the login screen under authentication. And we're going to enable the IDP to be selected on the login screen. Want to be careful disabling the login form. So right now we're for this demo, we're going to leave them both enabled on the login screen. Now on the service provider, we're going to hit new connected app. And we're going to go ahead and get the information in for the new connected app. So I'm going to give it a service provider demo org, basic information, I'm going to enable SAML. Now all I need are a couple of pieces of information back from the service provider. So in the service provider, I go to single sign on, I find where I've set it up. And I need the entity ID. So we're gonna grab that and you can see that it has the URL and that's why we wanted to change it. And we're gonna paste that in the entity. Now it wants the ACS URL and that's actually down here, just the login URL. 
And we're going to put that here. Now the subject type, we're going to do Federation ID. So that way we can use that as the way to link users. And we're going to hit save. Now we need to do is we now have this connected app, SP demo org. We're going to come back to app manager and right here, we're going to manage this. And we need to be giving that to specific profiles. Since we're doing a system administrator, I'm going to give this to that profile. Typically you could set this up to specific profiles. So now we've set up the profile and let's re review what we've done. We have the identity provider where we've set it up, download the certificate, downloaded the metadata. We went to the service provider, single sign on, created the configuration, uploaded the certificate, uploaded the, um, the configuration, uploaded the certificate, set up the login page, and we have the test user in both, play, both places. And the back in the identity provider, it's kind of a, you have to go back and forth, just this, this in this order. You set up the app manager, enable the SAML, set up the profile, and have the test user. Now we're going to demonstrate this. I've opened a new incognito window. What I'm going to be doing is you'll notice that because we put the logo, we know this is the IDP. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste in Homer IDP users. And we're going to paste in his password. So this is Homer IDP user logging in. And now they are, he is logged in to the sandbox. And we can verify that by going to view profile. And we see this as Homer IDP. Okay, well we, let's see, he probably doesn't have permission. So there is Homer IDP user. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the service provider and as though Homer were going to navigate over there for the first time in the day, we're going to paste in a different URL. And now we have the choice to log in using the um, single sign-on. So we're going to choose to log in during the single sign-on. And now it's doing, and now Homer is now immediately logged in as the different Homer. And we can see that because if we go to the view profile, this is Homer SP. So with one click, the user Homer IDP was a, here he is in the URL IDP with the identity provider. And here he is in single sign on without entering a second set of credentials to the service provider. So although this had a number of steps, we wanted, this is done from scratch where we showed setting up the identity provider, setting up the service provider, then going back to the identity provider and then being able to do single sign-on. Now a key element of this is going to be Homer's user. If we go to the Homer user and the federated ID right here, Homer1 is what's linking them together. And then over here, if we go to setup and go to users and we find Homer SP over here, Homer one, this is what's being used to join the two together with the single sign-on experience. So although this took a few extra steps to set up, setting up the sandbox, the dev org, making it look like an IDP, setting up the service provider, making it look like an IDP, putting a Homer user in either side, that was about half the effort. The actual effort to provision the IDP, get the metadata in the certificate, upload the, the metadata, upload the certificate, set up the connected app, paste a couple of URLs, and now you're up and running. And this way, you can have users have respective user IDs in different orgs and be able to click through with just single clicks without having to log in again. Thank you very much for tuning and subscribe to the Tech Steve Tech Arc channel. Keep on architecting and be back. Same bad time, same bad channel.